Merry Christmas! This is a tree topper from Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas that looks like this. That looks like this when assembled. And I made it because every year at Christmas, it's a tradition of mine to watch the 1966 version of How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And when I saw this star, I had to have one of my own. Now, when I first had this idea years ago, I didn't have my own 3D printer. So I decided to make version one out of paper. I used Fusion 360 to model it in 3D and then put that 3D model into Pepecura to turn it into a 2D template that I could cut out, glue together and paint to get here. If you want your own, there's a link in the description that allows you to print out the plans, cut them out, and build one yourself. But then I planned on 3D printing it. And when I looked at the model, I looked at it with a completely different set of eyes. What orientation would I print it? Could I assemble it without glue? Can I limit the amount of supports I use? And how do I make the seams seamless? And it kind of just turned into a puzzle. All the pieces interlock in a specific order, and the bottom pin locks it all together once it's assembled. I took the old model and I cut it up into separate pieces with the goal of completely eliminating the need for supports when printing. And it resulted in some pieces with some really crazy angles, which lends itself well to the whole puzzle theme. And this specific star is printed in flexible filament because people drop things. Now when I print with flexible filament, I turn off any and all settings which would cause the filament to retract. But when you do this, you end up with little blobs on your prints. And the best way to remove these is to use this to turn them in to this. And once you're done, all that's left to do is solve the puzzle, which I'm told is surprisingly difficult. And all these files, both the 3D printed files and the paper printouts are available for you in the description below. If you do decide to print them out, this is the orientation needed for each piece to be able to print them with zero supports. So take a screenshot. And then as you can see here, it will print without any supports, just fine. Okay, that's it. Happy printing, happy folding, and Merry Christmas.